two semis flip over the Rouge Bridge in less than a year. The most recent one just today. And authorities say in this case the driver and the weather are to blame. But some people wonder why does this keep happening in this same place? Could there be something wrong with the bridge or is it just bad driving? 7 Action News reporter Naya Harden is getting answers for us. Naya. Well, I just want to show you guys again what we showed you earlier today. 30 feet is where this thing landed. Take a look right here. That's where the Rouge River Bridge is. Now, we are asking state police if they know why this is becoming such a problem. They want to make it very clear that it's the drivers, not the bridge. This morning, Michigan State Police responded to a semi truck that had flipped over on I-75 landing on Dearborn Street. It's the second time it's happened. Last year, another semi truck fell the same way. We wanted to know why this was becoming a pattern, so we went searching for answers. According to Lieutenant Michael Shaw, it's simple. This individual came around the curve there, was going a bit too fast and lost control. It's speed again. It's something that we talk about, and it's not always just excessive speed or there's a certain speed that needs to be set. It's speed for road conditions. Shaw says the speed limit is 55 miles per hour and changing it would not account for weather conditions. Just because the speed limit is a certain amount doesn't mean you have to do that. So it's the same thing. Consider rain and swap snow in there, for example. So we all know when it starts snowing out in the snow and the roads are snow covered, the chance of you lose control of your vehicle increases. So you slow down. Uh, for some reason, some people don't equate that with rain, but uh, after we've seen these instances and we see them more and we start to talk about it education-wise, maybe people will start to understand that rain and snow kind of work the same thing. You need to slow down. According to MDOT, the barrier on the bridge is the standard three feet tall. Because of construction, additional barriers were added. you got to really pound the fact that Hey, slow down and put the phone down. That's uh, that's what we need to really talk about out there is there's no really issue with the bridge. There's nothing like that. If he would have control of his vehicle, he would have crossed just like the thousands and thousands of cars cross every day. The state police say this should be a warning to anyone. It's definitely a dangerous scenario. They say that what they're really concerned about is distracted drivers, those who may have cell phones, uh, trying to really uh, go the speed limit and also being on your phone is just really hard to do. Guys? Uh, Naya, how's the driver doing from that crash today? State police tell us that he is going to be okay. He received a broken arm and leg, but they say that he's lucky to be alive thanks to him wearing a seatbelt. All right, Naya Harden reporting live tonight. Thank you so much, Naya.